Hello. Hello! I'm Mr. Courgette. I'm Mr. DBSB. And this is the Mr. Courgette. And Mr. DBSB. Chili. And zombie. Experience. Experience. Episode 47. Oh, wow. 47. Yeah. That's pretty good, actually. Yes. Yeah. So uh, shall we uh, shall we just leap into it for reasons? What? Let's let's just for reasons entirely leap into it. So um, recently I went to Merthyr Tydfil in South uh -huh. Wales and uh, met uh, the lovely people of Chile of the Valley. Ooh. And Chile of the Valley have a plethora of sources available from like this place here that you can. Yeah. Get. Let's see if you can link that up. Yeah. And this one is their interpretation of a sweet chili sauce called Sweet as Tuck, which has a Scotch bonnet and Trinidad scorpions in. Ooh. So quite possibly a punchy sweet quite, chili quite sauce. Quite possibly, yes. So yeah, I I and think yeah. Later. Yep. Oh, and later. Later, we're going to be watching. Oh, we're going to probably watch a film, and I think there's a second source we're going to review as well. Excellent. So we've got a very hot source to come after this one, which is a sweet and hot sauce. Sweet hard. So maybe we do the sauce and then talk about the movie. Yeah, just yeah. quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For reasons. Do you want to open it and smell it, and talk about it? There's a good, good niff of garlic in there. Oh. Just a really nice garlicky sweet sauce, that okay. little bit of vinegar there. You can tell there is a little whiff of it's that super, super hot, song. super yeah. hot. But you know the the uh, the garlic is covering that up. Quite. Okay. Well, let us sample Let's sweet as tuck. Oh, that's a good gloop there. Got a good consistency for us for a sweet chili sauce, isn't it? Well, you're not a big fan of sweet chili sauces, are you? Not generally. So yeah, this is like that's pretty much a sweet sweet chili sauce. Okay. Nice and shiny, nice and sweet. I'll put my finger in that one. So, so take I'll that take one. Take that one. Yeah. Okay. I'll turn this one around. Bright eyes. And take that back. I see what you mean. I'm definitely getting a hint of garlic. I'm definitely getting a hint of sweetness as well. Yeah. And then you can see there are chunks of garlic in there, uh, chunks of uh, chilli in there. Definitely chunks of chilli. Yeah. Yes. Shall we down the Yes, match? we should. Oh, immediate sweetness followed by a really, really nice direct heat. That is mm. really, really good. Oh, Proper heat cracking. there. Mm. Really like that. And like, that would work as a dipping sauce. Yes. On very noodles. Much. I'd love that um, on sandwiches. Just oh like yeah. Pasted on sandwich. Yeah. That's lovely. That, that's a very versatile one. I think you're right. In a stir fry, that could really yeah. work. You know. Just. Just to pep it up. And, and the sweetness is great in there. Mm. Yeah. It kills all that sort of like, like super strong bitter. Yes. Yeah, it levels get. everything out. I mean, look, so I think the reason I'm not a fan of sweet chilli sauce generally is because it is just sweet without too much heat to it. Whereas this, it's got that really good balance of a punchy chilli, but with a sweetness cut straight through it. So yeah. it's really well balanced. Yeah, that's mm. really, really very tasty. Awesome. Well, this is Sweet as Tuck from Chilli of the Valley. Cool. Um, so, uh, yeah, the film we're going to watch. Yes, so the film we're going to watch tonight um, is one we missed out on at the cinema. Yep. Because, why go outside? No. <laughs> um, and this is called Anna and the Apocalypse. Ooh. Now. It's a Christmas it, one. Yes. Which is handy for when this is going to come out. Yes, that, that is serendipitous. And also, it is, a, I believe, a musical. So the second Ooh. zombie musical we've done. Now, 
Disney zombies was surprisingly okay. Yeah. Yeah. But very PG thirteen zombies. Yeah. You know. Um this is a certificate fifteen, which leads me to believe it should have more blood. Yeah. More kills. But potentially more singing. But we'll tell. We yeah. should watch and find out. Yeah. And it could be good. Or it could be singing. Shall we have another source first? Why not? Why not do two sources and then a film? Um, so we have another source then from Chili of the Valley. Yeah. And this one, appropriately, is called Mirtha Furka. Uh, so we had Sweet as Tuck before, we now have Mirtha Furka. I do like a good play on words. Yeah. So there we go. So this is Mirtha Furka. Now, this one is. Uh, I remember trying this at the store and being like, ooh, that's a bit pokey. Um, it is a chili mash of habanero, Trinidad scorpion, and um, Bajoclia chilies um, with um, things to make it a sauce. Okay. Um, so it's probably going to be very hot. But let's. Let's, let's see what happens. Right. Yeah, that's strong. Oh, yeah. 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 Immediate. Yeah. You can just smell that. Yeah. That's going to be hot. Yeah. That's going to be quite warm. I don't think we need a lot. No. No. But I reckon it might come out quite quickly. I'm going to be a coward. No, that's fine, I completely understand. Um, a little goes a long way. I can't get a bit more than that. Yeah, it's all good. Let's so have a little taste test of this one. Can we just go back for more? So. Oh! Yeah. On the spoon, that smells really good. It's got a good smokiness to it. Yeah, really, yeah. Really good smoke. Mmm. But yeah, you do get a whole sort of, you know that's got a lot of heat to it already, yeah, that taste yeah. of it. Yeah, it smells oh, yeah, lovely. Definitely smoking. Yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Mm. Now for you, is that just a bit too much heat to, with it, without, the, without the sweetness? Yeah. It's, yeah. I, I was going to say the, the, the bitterness kind of overrides that quite a lot. Um, it's it's very hot. It's very upfront hot as well. Mm. Now for me, that's something I'd add to maybe a pot of chili, as opposed to being yeah. a sauce sauce. I think that is mm. the, yeah that's a that's a uh, cooking condiment yeah. rather than a slather it on yeah thing. You know, yeah, that that would be great to spice up a chili. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely um, put that in like a five or bean chili or roll or you know. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it's tasty, but it's a real immediate heat. It's not really a builder. Mm. It's just a bam heat. Um, I like it, but yeah, it's a it's a an add to as opposed yeah. to um, a drink. Yeah, yeah. No, mm. you wouldn't want more. Th uh, yeah, that was. Uh, yeah. So, out of the two, Sweetest Tuck your favourite? I think Sweetest Tuck, I think I could see that being used for more. Yeah. Whereas uh, the uh, Mirtha... Mirtha Furka? Mirtha Furka. More of a cooking one? More of a cooking one. Mm. But I think that could be, that you know, a splash of that in baked beans. Ooh, yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, extreme beans. Yeah. Awesome. Well, rejoin us in a bit, once we've watched a musical. Well, that was Anna and the Apocalypse. And it truly was a zombie musical. Yeah, yeah, it was a zombie musical indeed. Thoughts? Um, I think it could have been a really good short film with a lot less songs. Yes, I, I am with you. Yes, I feel I, the songs added nothing. Um, I think if they'd wanted to keep the songs maybe the headmaster having doing the only singing yeah as a sort of like a thing of his descent into madness that would work i mean look it had some really good zombies yeah i mean the snowman zombie at the beginning brilliant that was very good really yeah like that it's very british sense of humor 
Yes, yeah. it is. I, it, it's, it, I was I was thinking of the the Disney zombie film because okay. it's kind of in a similar ballpark to that, and it's that definitely got that very British film thing, hmm. low budget, digital. It's got that hard edge digital film yeah. thing, which I'm never quite sure if I like. I think in musicals. You can't really have a hard-edged no. film. It, it needs to be a bit softer yeah, you around want, the edges. You want a bit of warmth to the songs yeah. as opposed to a bunch of auto-tune. Yeah. Um, and so it was that that was... But I, I did... Yeah, I think it could be a really good short film. Mm. It was just padded out with a lot of songs. And I think I, I kind of... There were various storylines that I thought were going to happen that didn't. No. So do you think it could have been a better film if they've had time to develop um, where the storyline could have gone as opposed to going, stop, it's time for a song? Yeah, or or had it as little scenes where you get to know the characters yeah. and get to like or despise yeah. characters instead of having a song to, to, to move the story along. No, I get you, because let's be honest... Um, if you've got a scene to develop a character, you've got the chance to make your mind up about the character, whereas yeah. if it's a song, chances are you're going to think, oh, God, not another song. <laughs> um, I, I, don't know, I thought some of the deaths were really good. Yeah. Um, I say zombie makeup was really good. I'm going to keep saying it, but the snowman zombie, I think, is one of my favourite zombies from the films we've seen recently. Yeah. Um, zombies transfix... Oh, yeah, we should probably mention, um, it's a Christmas film. Oh, yes. Um, zombies transfixed with tinsel was an interesting development. Yeah. Um, I like the idea that zomb- zombies are like magpies and might like yeah. things that are shiny. Um, but uh, do you know? What? I came out of it thinking it was it was it was good, but not great. But talking about it now, I actually think I liked it less than I thought I liked it. Uh, yeah. Oh well. One of the things that I really did like it's it's a Scottish film, and. There was shout outs to possibly the greatest Scottish film in the world, Gregory's Girl, uh, which was brilliant. Uh, the, the the little shout out to that was really, really nice. I, I yeah. like that. So if you're after a Christmas film and you've done Die Hard and you've done Gremlins and you need something else, it's probably not one for the kids. Oh no, I th- it's nothing. It's, it's got a, a bit of gore. But there's, there's a, a few bit of suggestiveness. Fs and, and, yeah, and shit. I, I, it's not one for the kids. Kids. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah definitely. You I mean, could it's get a away fifteen. With, yeah. So you know we shouldn't be pro- well. You know, but um, but anyway, if you're if you've done with Gremlins, you're done with Die Hard, Anna and the Apocalypse. If you've got an hour and a half to kill on Christmas, it's all right. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yes. You've probably seen Frozen about 17 times by now, so you might want to watch something else. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was that. And, um, yes. Yeah, we've had some chilli. We've had a film. It's probably night time for a cuddle and a sleep, and yeah. we'll be back again soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Night-night.